Hello, this is FCD. Have you ever scratched your head whenever you see someone create a song using note blocks, wondering how on earth they can make that work? Well, my hope is that this musical monstrosity might shed some light on that mystery for you. Right here, you are looking at four measures. The first and third one go from left to right with the white numbers there. And then the second and fourth one go from right to left with the red ones, as you can see. So it starts here and it kind of loops back and forth like that. Now, if you're new to basic music theory, uh, let me explain a little bit of what I mean by that. We have a measure goes from left to right, correct? And then each of these numbers represents a quarter note. There are four of them, which is why they're called quarter notes, because they're a quarter of the measure, if that makes any sense at all. They're also called a beat. Now, to illustrate what a quarter note sounds like, we've got a note block on each of these four notes here. So let's give this a right click. There we go. That's what it sounds like to have a quarter note. Now, if we were to have a note block in every single one of these quarter notes and also these in-between pillars, we would have eighth notes. Now, eighth notes sound like this. That's eight notes. That's why it's called an eight eighth note. You, you, get the, you get the idea. Now, the next one down is, you guessed it, a sixteenth note because there's 16 note blocks, which sounds a little bit like this. There you go. So those are 16th notes. Now, for you redstone peeps out there, that means every redstone tick is essentially a 16th note. Actually, I've gone ahead and made a cheat sheet, which can be downloaded below, that shows the timing for the most typical notes that you'll come across. Now, you might be wondering, why 150 beats per minute? Well, if you factor in that there are 10 redstone ticks per second, and that every four redstone ticks is a beat, or a quarter note, then with simple math, you can come up with 150 beats per minute, which is a bit fast for most songs. You could also double the length of the ticks, but that'll get you 75 beats per minute, which is particularly slow. There is a way to get close to the typical 120 beats per minute that most pop songs use in modern music, but that requires you to sacrifice 16th notes, as you can see on the right. The sad truth is it's not always going to be possible to get the right speed for every song. Also, in a rare case that you might need triplets, well, those are available in the 112 BPM. So you lose your 16th notes, but you get triplets. Now that we know the timings for our notes, we can pretty much make any song we want, right? Right? No, not so fast, right? <laughs> that That's the rhythm of the song explained, but what, what are the notes? Well, you're in luck. That's the easy part. You just need a little cheat sheet like this. I personally am the type where I can just hum a note to myself, then click the block until I hear the tone I want. I know I'm weird, but for the rest of you, you can use this measure contraption I created in those two cheat sheets to take any score of notes you want to convert and build it here. Let's do one together. Now I've chosen a particular song as you can see here because well, Minecraft just finally, in its 10th birthday, it beat out Tetris for the most sold game ever. Like, ever. So Tetris had this title for over a decade, and Minecraft just came in and just slammed it. Now, of course, there's another reason why I really wanted to do this song. When we have these little emerald blocks, we get this. And what better way to do the Tetris theme than with the 8-bit sound? I mean, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, first, there's one little thing I want to explain. This guy right here is a silent note block starter because first you've got a note block here, and when you right click it, it updates this here observer, which will then trigger the whole thing. And in order to make it silent, you got to put a block over it, but it still has an update that the observer can see. Now, the first thing we're going to do is figure out the rhythm or the timing of everything. So we're going to go through each note and we're only going to pay attention to the top bar there, the treble clef as it's called. And we're going to go ahead and put these note blocks in before we even worry about what note they're going to be playing. We're going to get the rhythm. So this first one is a quarter note. So that's going to last for four redstone ticks. One, two, three, four. And then bam, our next note starts. Our next note is an eighth note. So one, two, and another eighth note, one, two. Okay. And then we got another quarter notes, one, two, three, four, right? 
And the next one's an eighth note. So this is an eighth note's time and then another eighth note's time, which leads over to here. Bam. And that one right there is a quarter note. So one, two, three, four, quarter note in. The next two are eighth notes. So we're going to bop, bop, right? Then from here, this one's a quarter note. So one, two, three, four, bam. And then there's two more eighth notes. So we go one and then two. Boom, we're all the way around to here. Now I'm gonna continue doing this all the way through the rest of the first part of this song. All right, so I've got all the timing in for the first phrase of this, and let's take a listen. Now this is just timing, so it's just gonna be all one note. Do you hear that rhythm? Da, 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 da. That's so Tetris. Da, 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 da. Da, da. That's what we're going for. So let's go ahead and put in the notes and see what this thing sounds like. Now, in order to do that, like I said before, we have a nice little cheat sheet to work with. Now, the first note is in the space, the very, very top space, which is over here is called number 22 or an E, the second E up. And so here we go. We're going to hit this 22 times. That's 22 times. And then we're gonna go ahead to the move to the next one, which is that very middle line, which has the name of B, which is 17 clicks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now the next note is the next spot up, which is a C, which is 18 clicks. There we go, 18 clicks. And now we've got the next one, which is the next line up, which is not 19, but 20, because 19 is the in-between note, the black note there. So we want the D, which is 20. And then we'll do the next one here, which is we're starting to go back down. So this one is back to doing 18. And then the next one here is the next one down, which is right in the middle. We've got 17. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this first note here to kind of end that very first phrase so we can hear what it sounds like. So this one right here is the next space up, which is 15. There we go. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to it. <laughs> and it all goes pear-shaped after we're done. But that sounds good. So let's go ahead and do every note just like that. And then we're going to take a listen to see what it sounds like. All right, all complete. And let's take a quick listen to it. Sweet. <laughs> all right, so now the downside is, is there's no way you're going to want to build this in survival this big and it's quite easy to compact kind of obvious how that happens basically what we're going to have to do is for every repeater that's in here that's how many ticks are going to have to be between each of these blocks now you can have multiple repeaters in between each block but in the case of this the max distance between them is four so you can put one repeater between every single one and get away with it so this one's going to be nice and easy. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out how many of each thing you want. And yeah, we'll just go through and count all of these. Now, if you do the math, you'll find out that you need 20 note blocks, 20 emerald blocks, 19 repeaters, and 12 redstone dust. Now, I also have all the items I need to make my silent observer starter. You can also just use a button if you want, but I prefer this way. So basically you put an observer there, a note block there, a regular block on top of the note block, and redstone coming out. Nice and simple, and what this block does is it makes the note block silent, 
but the observer still sees the update. So perfect, perfect. That's everything we need. All right, now we're ready to put in the note blocks. So what we're gonna do is put the note blocks in like this. And since we know that there's only ever gonna be one repeater between each one, all we have to do is put them in every other spot here, just like so. There we go. And then we put in the repeaters in between. Now, when you come up to the edge here, you put one repeater and then you run the redstone around like that. Now, if you needed more than one repeater around the edge, you could do something along these lines. You can get three in or you can extend it further if you want. But for our case, we don't need to do that. All right. Now we can put in all the actual note blocks on top. All right, so all the note blocks are in. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is you can actually hide these emerald blocks down underneath and have the note blocks be powered directly. That works fine. Or you can have them up like this because it's powering the emerald block, which also powers the note blocks. So you can get away with this as well. I did it this way just to show what's under it. You can also use something other than emerald blocks, but I prefer them because you get that nice 8-bit sound. <laughs> Now at this point, what you're gonna wanna do is write down each number that represents the notes through the entire thing and the number of ticks between each note that you're gonna wanna put into the repeaters. I wrote it out kind of like this. What you're seeing here is the numbers for the note blocks and each dash represents a tick. Pretty simple. Now all we have left is we need to right click these, the number of times we have written down and set up the redstone ticks however we need them which is nice and simple you just you have it all written down just do it so here we go this one's 22 and then this guy is four ticks boom and yeah you just do it for the rest of them all right let's put in our last one to four ticks and let's take a listen Yes, we did it. We did it. Uh, we got it in our survival world. We're ready to go. You can show it off to all your friends and be like, hey, look, I made Tetris in Minecraft. <laughs> But anyway, if you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that like button. It really does help this channel when you do, and consider subscribing for more content like this. And as always, you should check the description for more details on what you learned about today. 